All right. Hi, everyone. Katrina Sawa here. And I have my friend Laura Posey here. How are you, Laura? I'm great. Great to be awesome. here. We are talking today. We wanted to come on together because we both help entrepreneurs with business growth strategies. Not any business growth strategies, but practical, tactical ones. Like, forget the fluff. We want to tell you what works, what's going to make you money, and what you can stop doing because you're wasting too much time. There's too many options, right? So that's what we're talking about today for the next 20, 30 minutes. And so I'm going to let Laura share a little bit about who she is, and then I'll tell you who I is, and then who I is, who I am, and then we'll get down to the heart of it. On your mark, and go, Laura. <laughs> I is. Uh, I <laughs> I couldn't help it. I'm, I'm Laura Posey, I'm chief instigator and founder at Simple Success Plans. And I do one thing and one thing only. I help entrepreneurs plan their entire year on one sheet of paper and then get it all done. That's it. That's me in a nutshell. <laughs> Katrina, how about you? What's your jam? That is amazing because that would be my to-do list would be 400 pages long if it was on one page. It would have to be a really, really long nope. page. Like we're talking bigger than legal. <laughs> no. Okay. One sheet, baby. One sheet. I'm intrigued. And you'll have to tell us how you got here. I mean, I've been, I've been doing business coaching for 20 years. There she is. Look at that. I know there's a quote unquote book out there for some, something similar. And I'm sure you've perfected it and made it better, right? So we won't talk about that. Um, but yeah, so I'm a business coach. I love helping people make more money. So I really want to get to the heart of what to do right now to tweak or fix your website, your sales conversation, your business model, your mindset, your marketing, your follow-up, your technologies, your system, your team, whatever it is. So I talk about a lot of stuff. I know. It's a little overwhelming. I just taught a class on it. And it was like, they're like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm new. And I'm like, just stick around. You know, one thing at a time. But you got to see the big picture first before you can actually dive in. Otherwise, you're just randomly throwing darts is what I say. So that's what I do along with publishing and speaking and all that kind of stuff. So, but let's dive in and share what do you think are some, let's, let's talk about one of the biggest impractical thing first somebody could do. Do you have something off the top of your head, Laura, that would be the most impractical, in untactical thing yeah. that they could be doing to stop doing? Yeah, it, it's it's jumping on every single webinar and buying every single online course, everything, and hoping that this one is going to be the magic bullet that's going to help you. Yeah, like Amen. you got to have a freaking plan. Stop it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Stop it. Yes. Pick a coach and pick a mentor and stay. Stay yes. in lane until you're done with that lane. And then you go to the next lane. You got too yeah. many lanes going. You're going down different paths, right? And, I mean, and, and do hmm. the basic stuff first. Yes. Right? You don't need to know how to run Facebook ads yeah. until you know who your freaking target market is. Yes. And I know people are tired of hearing, oh, I got to pick a target market. Yeah, you got to pick a target market. You got to have a sales process. You got to have a great offer. Like you got to have the basics. And everybody's like, well, I need leads. I'm like, what, what are you sending them to? What's, what's your funnel look like? Where are they going? How are they going to buy from you? Yes. Uh, well, I got to have leads before I build up. No, 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 no. You got to have a, something to sell and a process before you go put leads in them. I know it's, it's, it hard, it's heartbreaking. Explode. It's heartbreaking to watch people flail. And I've been doing it before my business, even when I was selling advertising in the local newspaper 22 years ago. I mean, I would walk into businesses, try to sell them an ad and they wouldn't like someone would be buying something, writing a check. And then the check is not the address on the check and the phone number is not getting calculated somewhere or to say, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just these little things. Sometimes it's the littlest things, tweak and observation of something that you're doing or not doing. You tweak it and boom, more can happen. I mean, it's, and you just don't see what you don't see. We don't know what we don't know, right? Yeah, yeah. What would you say are some of the biggest practical, tactical things that people can do? I mean, all different kinds of businesses, right? I don't know who you talk to. I talk to all types of business owners. Do you yeah. have different kinds of business owners or a specific 
Yeah. So the, the majority of my clients are coaches, consultants, people, service providers, people who are selling their time and expertise, right. Versus, you know, t-shirts on a shelf. And, yes. and I think that the thing they've got to do is decide, right. You got to choose who am I going to sell to? What am I going to sell and pick something and lead with it and create a plan around that. So you can lather, rinse and repeat. I, yeah. I see folks trying, they're coming out of the gate and they go, Oh, well, I got seven products. I'm like, what, you can't keep up with seven products. How do you think your prospects are going to keep up with your seven products? Like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta have a front door that everybody comes in. And once they're in the front door, right, they made that first purchase. Then you can lead them around the house and take them on the tour and they can see all the rooms. But there's gotta be this one thing that you decide on and that you put your time and energy and focus in to doing. And I, I see, Folks just failing to make those basic decisions to, to choose, to plant a stake in the ground and to build a plan around that. And as a result, they're just scattering their time and their money all over the place and they're not getting any results. Yeah. And it, it, just, it, it, it kills yeah, me. It does. And I, I do, I 100% agree with you. I also talked with a lot of people who have three ideas, right? And so to pick one, it's really hard. I get that. And so there's probably people watching that are like, but I can't pick one or I do this and I do that. Okay, well, you kind of have to lead with whatever's the, I, you know, whatever's the most logical to be able to sell. Because most mm -hmm. people that come to me need to make money today. Like we need to make money to pay the bills and to pay the mortgage. And, to, you know, so we need to make money today. So you want to, you definitely want to do the basics. Um, like I had a client, uh, somebody I was talking to on a networking event the other day and she's, or no, she came to a one-on-one -on -one call and she said, okay, I want to be a paid speaker. I'm like, great. So paid speaking for corporate and things like that. No problem. Got it. So, but do you need to make money today or do you have savings or stuff that you're going to live on? And she's like, no, I need my money today. I said, okay. So most people are not going to hire you today to be a paid speaker. So what are you going to sell now? To make yep. money now yep. and for the next say 12 to 18 months what are you going to sell well we're building the paid speaking business so you just kind of have to you know do things i say in order of importance right mm -hmm. and you don't always know the order of importance so it's important to get some other eyeballs a third party eyeballs on what you're doing so we can show you or give you ideas of this one's going to make money this one's not or this is a longer term sales process. This is a fast cash opportunity because you don't mm -hmm. always see it. So really getting clear on that and knowing if you need to make money now. Or I have some clients who are like, no, I've, I have some savings and buffers so I can build the plane first and then go fly it rather than building the plane while we're flying it. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's another thing that's coming up for you? Practical, tactical business growth strategy. Yeah, I think, you know, the other thing that, that I see is, is a challenge that I really, really, really want people to do is to constantly be focusing kind of to your point on what's closest to cash, mm -hmm. right? You know, I was talking to a client today and she's like, yeah, you know, I've, I've got a call with AIG and I've got another call with this other big company. And I said, great, you know, like, what are you selling into them? You know, and it's, it's like $150,000 package, which is awesome. I'm all for whale hunting, but whales take a long time to get in the boat. And yeah. I said, so what are you doing in, in the meantime? Right. It's going to, you know, it's going to take you a year, 18 months to get them in the boat. And when you do, you're going to be really happy. But to your point, how are you going to eat today? Mm -hmm. Right. What's closest to cash? What, what do you have that you could go do right now and generate $2,000, $5,000, $10,000, something that's like immediate that, you know, boom, done money. And she was just like, oh, and, you know, I, I, as you said earlier, right, you got to have somebody else look at it, right? We always say coaches need coaches. Yeah. Um, because we're too close. I, I have a coach because I I'm too close to my own stuff. I can't yes. see it. I can't be objective. And my coach always goes, well, hey, what about this pile of money sitting right in front of you? I'm like, oh, yeah. Didn't yeah. I can't wait till my coach tells me that. I'm new. I'm doing a new coach program right now because 
I've been hovering at the same amount of income for four or five years. It's a little bit of increase here and there, you know, but it's not fast enough for me. And I want to move faster, right? So yeah. you're only going to get yourself to a certain level and then we need other people. And yes. so it just elevates you. I would say one thing too that is um, a struggle for people is there's too many things to do. Like, how am I going to be like really present on all the social media sites that I'm supposed to be on and go to networking events and do speaking gigs and write email yeah. mark copy and do my blog and do videos yeah. and da -da, and do joint ventures like we're doing here, right? Yeah. Um, like, how am I supposed to do it all? Well, you don't. Right. That's the key. <laughs> you have to decide like which yeah. of those is the most ideal for number one, attracting your prospects, but yep. also that fits with your personality, right? And what you like to do. Now get me wrong, or don't get me wrong here because you still have to do things you're uncomfortable doing, okay? Yeah. So there's no avoiding video in this day and age. You gotta get on video, whether it's pre-recorded or whatever. So people that say, no, I'm not gonna get on video. You're gonna lose so much money if you don't get on video, right? Period. So you don't have to spend like a ton of, you don't have to be a hundred percent on social media and a hundred percent on networking events. And you don't want to be on 50% of them each, both also, because right. then you're half-assing both instead yep. of full, full-assing one. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm full of uh, all kinds of isms today. Katrina isms. I'm after older. older I'm whole-assing instead of half-assing. <laughs> What else? Yeah, no, it's, it, it, the key word here is decide. And it's mm -hmm. one of my favorite words in the world because when you decide, decide, the root of the word decide means to cut out or cut away, right? So deciding is saying no to the 80% of stuff that isn't going to really move the needle so that you can double down on the 20% that really yeah. is going to be the groove for you. And when you put 100% of your time into that small amount and you concentrate that power, you go from being like a light bulb where, you know, it's the same amount of energy, but it's just going all over the place to being a laser beam where all of the energy is focused in one direction and you can cut through steel with a freaking laser beam. Yeah. And, and it's all about that single word D side. Yeah. Um, and it's so the hardest thing wrong. I think yeah. for folks to do to your point earlier, it's like, well, I can do lots of things. Well, you can, but just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Right. I can do my own website. Well, just because you can definitely means you should, I can do this. I can do all of this. I can mm -hmm. do my own bookkeeping, but stop it. Like, right. Get, like really think of yourself as the CEO. I know too many business owners that are not thinking like a CEO mindset. I didn't for many years in my business. Oh, I was just working yeah. in the business. Oh, I got to get a client. I got to serve the client. I got to get me client. I got to serve the client. I got to market. I got to follow up. I got to do the back end admin stuff. And then it was about, okay, well, now I'm working too hard. And then you burn out. And then you're like, okay, well, how am I going to elevate and scale and get to the next level? Well, I got to put my big girl panties on and think of myself as a CEO, right? Yeah. Now I have a team of four different people that do a lot of things for me, right? Yeah. And, but it wasn't enough just to have the team. I realized right. this year that I'm project managing that whole damn team, right? right? So I need to get them more in sync. I'm telling each one individually what to do. I need them to work as a cohesive team. So I wasn't leading yeah. correctly. So the next step even for me is to lead more efficiently my team yeah. so things can run smoother. And that's just a process. I mean, you're not yeah. going to do that overnight, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it, you know, it's easy to create silos and it's like, oh, this is my designer and this is my video editor and this is my admin. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, they, they all need to be working together without you. Right. Yeah. And, and again, like I, you know, I, I harp on the plan thing, but when everybody knows what the plan is and everybody knows where we're going and what we're doing and what we're building, they can all come together to do their parts. Right. The, the plan is like a blueprint. You know, when you're yeah. building a house, you can go hire a bunch of minimum wage people to build your million dollar house. 
if you got a good blueprint, because they can look at the blueprint and go, oh, well, this is where the walls go, and this is where the electrical goes, and this is where the yeah. plumbing goes, right? Yeah. And, and they can do their jobs really well because of the blueprint. But if you don't have a blueprint, one, you don't know what they're building. Yeah. Right. And if they don't know what they're building. So what they got to do, they've got to come to you every single day. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I, am I doing? Right. <laughs> am I doing it right? What do you want? You know, and that just yeah. leads to more meetings and oh God, that's the last thing we need is more meetings. If we wanted more meetings would be in corporate. Right? Networking meeting. I would say I love networking meetings because I get prospects all the time for yeah. networking meetings, but yes, I know what you're saying. <laughs> and right. I don't find, I, I'll tell you about planning. You know, I just did a, um, some people will do it like you do it with one page. Some people will go, I mean, in the beginning of my business, I went to score and they gave me a 28 page business plan that oh, I think yeah. went in the drawer and I never looked at again. So don't do that. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, but then like Monday I was with my mastermind clients and we did a vision board training and we were talking about the big picture and all the things they want, not only in their business, but in their life in their love life, in their self-care and all the stuff, right? And so uh, we were plotting out, okay, how to do it in a visual way, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's important depending, because there's lots of people out there that are very creative and visual and they're not very linear and practical, right? And mm -hmm. so they need this practical stuff. Uh, you got to have the the doing and the being both. both. So I think all of it is good or just pick your pick your modem of what you like, how you really want to yeah. plan. But yeah. yeah. I love, tell them about your, your plans a little bit. I'm sorry. I, tell them about your plans yeah. and how you do this one page plan and why it's so successful. Yeah. So we, we start with the personal, like what kind of lifestyle do you really want to live? And then yeah. Back into, we've got a little calculator to figure out, well, how much money does your business have to spit out every year for you to have the lifestyle that you want, right? Yes. Do you, what is it that's important to you? Do you want four Ferraris? Okay, well, that's going to cost more than if you just want to like put your grandkids through college. Yes. Um, you know, and, and so figuring out like, what do you really care about? What do you really want in your lifestyle? What's that going to cost? Then once we know how big the business needs to be, like how much money it needs to spit out, then we can get down into like, okay, well, what has to happen for you to have all the money that you want, but also to have the time that you want and have a, you know, the opportunity to enjoy your life. You know, one of the things that's on my plan is I work three days a week because I don't work weekends. And then I decided I don't like to work Fridays. And then I decided I don't really like to work Mondays either. So all right, I'm just going to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and that's going to be how it is. And so it's working through that, like, what do you really, really want? And then we have a, a process that we call the success circle. And it's all the things that you've got to have to have a really solid lather, rinse, repeat business. And, and your job is to just work your way around the success circle and, and fill in all of the the pieces of pie, if you will. And then if you want to grow your business, then you just go around it a second time or a third time or a fifth time or a 27th time. And, and the gaps in your success circle are what goes on your plan for what you're going to work on this year. Yeah. You know, so if it's your, you know, if you need more automation and team, okay, great. That's what you're going to work on this year. Um, yeah. And we break that down into projects. We've got project lists for everything. And then now you know what you're supposed to do to get where you want to go. So yes. it all builds together and you end up with the blueprint. Yes. We do a lot of the same things in different ways. I love yeah. this. So one thing I would say that people leave out of uh, the beginning when they're trying to figure out what I call their need number, what do you need to make every month yep. in order to sustain and have the life you want, run the business mm -hmm. and hire the people. Cause people say, well, I can't afford to hire an assistant or I can't afford to hire until I make blah, blah, blah. But if you don't put it in your money goal to hire yeah. that person and an extra 500 or a thousand dollars a month, then you got to put it in the money goal. Right. So yep. the other thing people don't think about though, is not only college and what other expenses they need, but what about if you live to your hundred and exactly. you need assisted living or something, right? My mom's in assisted living right now. She's an independent and it's only, and it's still $4,300 a month. Right. Yep. So people think, Oh, I'm not going to need that. I'm going to stay at home. But 
I have a geriatric care manager client that says 70%, 73% of the people who think they're going to stay at home and want to stay at home mm -hmm. will actually have to go into some sort of assistance. So yeah. now I talk to most of the people over 50, ideally, I don't know who you talk to, but yep. like, we got to be thinking about that because Absolutely. what if it happens at 70? What if it happens at age 80? We got to make more money now when yep. we're able and are, you know, we're focused than yep. we ever have before in order to plan. If you have extra later, yay. And exactly. Out, right? there, exactly. There'll always be somebody who will do good work with your money when you're right. done using it. Please think bigger, is my point. Think bigger, bigger. Mm -hmm. I'm always about to live big, right? Live big, but you've got to, you got to think bigger because if you have a lot of excess, great, give it away. I don't care. The more, the more good people making lots of money yeah. will do really good work, work in this world. But I see too many people that say, Oh no, it's okay. If I just make X dollars a month or I'm okay with just X dollars a month, but they haven't built in the vacations they deserve right. and want to take exactly. or the improvements on their home or bigger home or a newer car. They're driving something 13 years old. I mean, come on people. You deserve it. And yes. now's the time to make it. So absolutely, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm right there with you. Yeah. It's, um, I, I'm kind of shocked that with all the information that we have that, you know, maybe it's just the ostrich syndrome, you know, we're just burying our heads in the sand going, well, you know, maybe it won't happen to me or, you know, that's why I had kids. It's their job to take care of me. It's like, you know what? I, I have, I've done the caregiver thing and you don't want your kids to have to change your diaper. You really don't. And I know you did it when they were babies, but let me tell you, it's a whole different ball game to be changing a diaper on an adult. Yes. And I've done it and you don't want to. I have you not changed diaper, but I have done caregiving of my parents. You do, no yeah. Joke. You do not want to have to get a grown ass adult in and out of a bathtub or have to carry them. Like, just, no, you want people yeah. who do that all day, every day to, to be able to do that because they're going to do a much better job than you do. Yeah. I would say also some practical, tactical business growth strategies is really thinking seriously about things like, what do you like, if you do have, when you do have extra money, where are you going to invest it? How's it going to grow? Uh, what kind of legal do you need? What kind of insurance do you need? You know, I don't get into yeah. the nitty gritty of a lot of that, but I have resources and friends who do and yeah. i think it's so important because you're right people do hide their head in the sand they're like well i'm just a solopreneur and you know i'm just this or i'm just an escort or i don't know like it's it, i don't again it's it's more you have the more you have to protect yeah it really is take your business seriously please otherwise go back and get a job because yeah. i'm serious so. And, but but be excited about it, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, I, we always I always look at, at you know emotions are just labels we give to certain chemicals, right? And the difference between terrified and excited is just a label. It's the same chemical, right? It's still adrenaline, right? And some people are like adrenaline makes me feel great, and some people say adrenaline makes me feel scared change the label. Like instead of going like, Oh my God, I'm, I'm scared. I'm, I'm afraid, you know, oh, there's all these things I don't know. Get excited about it. Go, Man, there's all these things I don't know. Look at all this cool stuff I can learn. This is going to be so much fun. I'm excited. And, yeah. and change that label that you're giving that feeling and that crazy cocktail of, you know, adrenaline and cortisol and I, and just call it <laughs> excitement. And it changed the way you think about it and it turns into excitement. Yeah, it is. Most people that tell me, especially when they're investing big, right. And I've told this to mentors too, is they're, they're excited and scared all at the same time. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I'm still, uh, I'm still uncomfortable doing certain things in my business. We got to constantly be pushing ourselves outside of that, I think, yeah. which is, which is important. Um, Good. Well, this is fun. Hmm. What else can we share? Yeah. You know, I was also going to just drop in there. You know, I, I love that you're doing this show and you're sharing this information with people because it gives people an opportunity to see you and know what it is that you know and how you help people. And in, 
you're out there doing it, right? And so people should take advice from you because you're doing it. And so often I think we get, you know, we, we sit around with our friends who have corporate jobs and they're like, oh, it must be so scary what you're doing or, well, you're taking a big risk and you start to buy into all of their yeah. own fear and they try to, to you know, it's a, the, um, I, I live in, in Virginia, I grew up in Maryland and we have crabs around, you know, just big bay blue crabs. And one of the things with crabs is if you put a bunch of crabs in a bucket and one of the crabs starts to climb out of the bucket, the other crabs will actually grab, reach up and grab that crab and pull them back down in the bucket. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's what your friends and your family will try to do, right? They love you and they care for you. And they're afraid that if you climb out of the bucket, that you're going to die. And so they'll do what they can do to pull you back down to their level. And I want to say, you know, don't do that. There's a whole bunch of people out there like Katrina that are here to help you. And they've already done it. And they can tell you there's beautiful stuff outside the bucket because the crabs in the bucket get boiled. Uh, they get steamed where I come from, right? Right. But the crabs in the bucket die. And so... You got to get out of the bucket and, and grab onto somebody like Katrina and, and get somebody to help. Or yourself, you out right? of that bucket. We both contribute to the success of entrepreneurs. And I'm a full believer that we need a few different, we need to try a few different people out to really find the person we're going to follow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm intrigued with your one page business plan um, because it would make life simpler. You should see my list of things to do. And this is just one of them, right? <laughs> but I know you break it down to projects. This is my list of things to do today. I like uh, that. I've never been so like it's our It's a daily success checklist. I like it. And all I got to do today is check off the stuff in this middle column. And I'm good to go. This is my like goals and a reminder of all, what I'm really yeah. working for. That's what I got to get done today. And then there's a reflection column so that I can look back at my day and go, you know, what went right? What didn't, what do I need to change? So what am I proud of? What am I grateful for? And when I fill out that column on the side there, then I'm done. I'm out. Like day is done. Mentally, I can, emotionally, I can walk away from work and go into all of my other roles in my life yeah. and know that I did what needed to be done. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. I have like to today when I get it. done, I got to go feed some feral cats and then I got to go take a wall down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. I think, you know, one thing um, you're right with the to-do list, it's never to done. My husband always says, are you done yet? I'm like, honey, I'm never done. <laughs> like there's always more to do. Am yeah. I done for the day? Am I going to leave yeah. now? Like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so what, what are some of your favorite tools or some of your favorite things that that you have that that'll help drive people forward? Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's actually just staying in action. I've been a doer all my life. I've had to mm -hmm. learn the the beauty of being, right? Mm -hmm. Doing versus being. Yep. And I've just been a doer. Okay, what else? and I hired this coach one time um years ago. It was probably oh, uh, 14 years ago. And I said, okay, I'm almost at a hundred thousand. What do I need to do to get over the hundred thousand mark? Right. Cause that's what everybody wants. And I was like, okay, come on board. And, you know, paid 25, $25,000. And I had a little mastermind. I only got eight calls with him one-on-one -on -one for that year. But anyways, I would go and to these masterminds, I'd be like, okay guys, this is what I've got. This is what I'm selling. This is my website. This is what I'm doing. Da, 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 all the things I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. This is how many people I have. La, la, la. And then I'm like, what do I need to do? What's missing? Like, what do you see that I can do better, do differently to gain more traction and get more clients coming in? And you know what they said to me? Katrina, just be. Just be love, Katrina. And I'm like, um, what? Like, how do I do that? What do I do? How do I be love? Like, and right. so I was like, doing the love. Like, and it took me the whole year to really sort that out in my head. And I would cry all the time. Like, what does that mean? Until towards the end of the year, and I was just going to conferences and those events that he would put on. And I'd be list I would just stand in the back of the room and just be and exude, okay, whoever needs to talk to me right now about whatever it is, you know, whether it's their love life or their, their business, they'll come to me. And they did. 
and I would get clients. And at the end of that year, I don't know how the hell, I didn't do anything different except I was apparently being, but I didn't think I was being, I didn't feel like I was being more. I made out over a hundred thousand dollars. And I also found the love of my life that year. Oh, I thought was my life, right? So I got love and money at the end of that year, which is what I've been writing about and talking about ever since. So yeah, I mean, so sometimes people come to me and they're all being, and they need the mm-hmm. doing. Sometimes people come to me like me, because we like checks like, and they're the doing. And I'm like, okay, but what about your love life? How is it going over here? How come you're not, you know, taking care of yourself and you're gaining weight and you don't want to gain weight? And so we have to look at the love side of their life and the business money side Mm -hmm. of their life. And so I I do that. I do both. I do talk to people about their relationships, their love Mm -hmm. life, their online dating. And I've taken courses. So I'm not, you know, it's not just... Me telling you, I've taken all kinds of relationship courses. I don't, I don't talk about it like that necessarily. It's part of my story, right? But I think looking at everything someone is doing and how they're being and their whole life, like you said in the very beginning, we say the same thing. We got to build the business around the kind of life we want to live instead of fit our life in around our business. Mm-hmm. And I think not enough people do that. I think people just want to teach them how to start a podcast and how to do this and how to get more videos. And you listen Mm -hmm. to too many of those people telling you all those different things and you're just in overwhelmed chaos and you're not making money because you're doing, going down too many roads. They're just just tactics. There's no strategy. Yeah. It's like, you know, I I like to build stuff. I like to do home improvement stuff. And, you know, I tell people, it's like you're, you're trying to build a house. And so what you do is you go, well, I got $50,000. I'm going to go to Lowe's and <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to get some nails. Oh, I need shingles. Look, they got windows. I'm going to get some windows and doors. I'm going to get some boards. And now I'm going to go like build me a house. And they're just, those are just tactics. Yeah. Right? yeah. You got to have an overall strategy. You got to have an overall blueprint. Yeah. Like what the hell is it that you want to build in then be strategic and mindful about you got to have a foundation before you can put up the walls and you yeah. got to have the walls before you can install the windows. Right. Like it, And how that relates to business is your plan, your strategy. And also I would say your website is one of the biggest yes. things I think people yep. neglect these days. And we look at, yep. I look at first thing that, you know, their website, that's your house. So to speak. Yeah. you're inviting people yeah. into, you know, yeah, that's, you that, that's your curb appeal. That's your front door. Oh, like people, that, right. if they drive up and go, that's place is scary as hell. They're going to keep on driving. They are. There's plenty of people that do what you do. That's right. I mean, There's a house right across the street, tonight. right next door. And they're going <laughs> to leave you and go next door. I know. Well, this has been fun. This is awesome. Yeah. Okay, Laura. So we know that you have um, this plan, and I think you have some kind of checklist or something too, right? Tell me yeah, yeah. so how I, I can get more. Yeah, I'm telling you about. I, I live and die with the daily success checklist, and so I want to give everybody a copy. You just download it, and and you can download it. There's a fillable version. There's a printable version. There's a video to show you how to use it. Um, there's none of this like, hey, here's here's some stuff. Guess how to do it. Like the whole thing is right there. Um, cause I want you to start using it and start using it today. Yeah. That's how awesome. about you? What do you have? You got something coming for? So yeah, I have a, um, a few free things and I, let me see. I don't want to put it in a ticker. I'm going to take it off the scroll and then show. There we go. Um, mm-hmm. I, I do have, so I'm kind of one of those that doesn't stay in one lane. And so <laughs> <laughs> but the beauty of it, people come to me for all different things. Some people want to write a book. Great. I have a training on that and I do publish. Some people want to come and get started speaking. Great. I have a speaker network and you can learn how to do that because it's the fastest path to cash. Some people just need to know where to get started. We were talking about money goals earlier and I have a great need number worksheet what, that talks about like wow. what are all the things you're going to want to put into that money goal so that you know how big to make it so that you can actually build and afford to build the sustainable business that we're talking about here um, nice. with an assistant and the right website. So that's a great worksheet that you can get. It's free on this page. Um, and my need number worksheet is good. 
Um, I also have a new biz quiz. So I have a jumpstart your biz quiz. So you can actually see where the holes are and the opportunities to improve. So it's kind of like a, a snapshot of where you're at and oh. all the different pieces of your business. And you'll see where you think you do well and where you don't. And then those are the things to perhaps focus on. So the quiz is really good too. Ooh. Yeah. So I love a lot of stuff. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> uh, and I have a, a, an event coming up in November. So you can find that on the event page and it's going to talk about all of that. So love event. Again, we were so happy to come and talk to you today on practical, tactical business growth strategies. Uh, there's 462 more things we could tell you, but we would be here for a week. So you'll have to come check us out and follow us. And we hope you do. We really want to help you. So thank you. Thanks for having me, Katrina. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Bye now.